for more on the gap between the rich and the poor, as well as other social imbalances in Germany. We're joined by Alexander Herzogstein from the Hans Böckler Foundation. Good to have you with us. Well, the uh, kind uh, gentleman that we've just seen in our report, he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. How typical is that for Germany's wealthy population? Unfortunately, it's very typical. If you are born rich, it's very likely that you continue to be rich, whereas if you are poor, then you stay poor. That's a difficult development. It's a, it's a difficult situation. We've also seen, of course, this young man, teenager, 17-year-old, who is trying so hard to get himself into a different position, uh, leaving the confines of his upbringing, his background, and climb the career ladder. What are his chances? I think it's impressive what he's doing and what he's trying. Uh, I think he can manage, but he's not a typical example. And that what distresses me. We should offer all our children the best chances to, to achieve their goals. But when I listen to you now, it sounds like we still live in a society that is dictated by a class system, are we? Yes, even though we Germans often don't like it, it is that there are huge differences between people depending on their income, their wealth, unfortunately. Okay. You, you, you say Germans don't like it, so what do we need to do about it? Do we need new laws, perhaps a minimum wage? What would help? Yes, I think so. Um, we need a minimum wage. We have two difficult developments. First, th the, there are huge differences between those people who are wealthy and those who have no uh, wealth. And on the other hand, there are huge differences with respect to income earned by work. Uh, recent years, uh, wages have lost out compared mm. to capital income. That's a problem. And also people on the lower part of the wage distribution have, have lost out too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we have to change it. We need a minimum wage. We have to think about collective agreements, make them more general. Okay. But uh, it's, it's obviously, it's not just a social imbalance. Uh, there is also an imbalance when it comes to gender equality. The latest OECD uh, Global Gender Report shows that Germany isn't uh, doing that well. They're either uh, the famous glass ceiling for women, for example. Uh, what can be done there? Yeah. We have, to, we have to change that in general. We have to think about improving childcare because that's still one of the major burdens women have to cope with and redu that reduces their chances on the labor market. We have to improve that. We have to make, in general, more in uh, equality in the labor market between men uh, and women. And then such things can change, but they need time, unfortunately. Okay, Alexander Herzogstein, thank you very much for joining us.